Twenty Animal Idioms in English from EspressoEnglish.net. Number one, the elephant in the room. The elephant in the room is an idiom for a problem or a controversial issue that is too big to ignore, but that everyone tries to avoid talking about because it is embarrassing or will cause conflict. Number two, one-trick pony. A pony is a small horse, which is often used for shows, competitions, and exhibitions. People teach ponies tricks to perform at the shows. If a pony only knows one trick, then it doesn't have a great variety of abilities. So, describing someone as a one-trick pony means the person only has one ability or one good quality that he or she is known for, and doesn't have any other abilities. Number three, the lion's share. The lion's share of something is the biggest part or biggest portion. Number four, hold your horses. This idiomatic expression means "wait a minute, don't be in such a hurry." Number five, that really gets my goat. If something gets your goat, it means it annoys you. The origin of this idiom is unknown. Number six, pig-headed. Describing someone as pig-headed means that person is stupid and stubborn, close-minded and inflexible. Number seven, weasel out of something. Weasels have a reputation for being sneaky. If a person weasels out of some responsibility, it means they abandon their responsibility or commitment in a way that is sneaky or cowardly. Number eight, the cat's meow. If you think something is the cat's meow, it means you think it is excellent, wonderful, or really great. Number nine, let the cat out of the bag. This idiom means to reveal a secret. Number ten, go to the dogs. If something goes to the dogs, it means it goes bad, deteriorates, or becomes poor quality. Number eleven, let sleeping dogs lie. If you make a suggestion to let sleeping dogs lie, it means not to talk about things in the past that might cause problems if you mention them today. This idiom comes from the fact that a sleeping dog is peaceful, but if you wake it up, it might be angry and bite you. Number twelve, wild goose chase. This idiom means going after something you are not likely to get, or a pursuit that is a waste of time because it is unlikely to succeed. It comes from the fact that it is very hard to catch a wild goose, so if you try to chase one, you are not likely to get it. Number thirteen, quit cold turkey. If you quit something, a habit like coffee. Smoking, drinking, etc. Cold turkey. It means you stop completely. Quitting smoking cold turkey would be deciding one day never to have another cigarette again, differently from slowly decreasing your smoking habit over time and eventually stopping. There are two possible origins for this idiom. One is that when someone is addicted to drugs and suddenly stops using the drugs, their skin becomes cold and gets bumps like a plucked turkey, a turkey without its feathers. The other possible origin is the fact that cold turkey is a dish that is quick and easy to prepare. Number fourteen, watch something like a hawk. A hawk is a bird of prey. That means it hunts small animals for food. Because of this, a hawk needs to have very good vision and watch carefully to find the animals. So watching something like a hawk means watching extremely carefully. Number fifteen, like a fish out of water. 
The natural place for a fish to live is in the water. If a fish is outside the water, it would feel very uncomfortable. If you feel like a fish out of water, it means that you are very uncomfortable in a particular situation or environment. Number sixteen, fish or cut bait. In the sport of fishing, bait is the food you put on the hook to attract the fish. If you cut bait, it means you abandon the bait and stop trying to catch fish. This idiom means either do something or else get out of the way. You can say it to a person who is indecisive in order to motivate them to take one action or the other action. Number seventeen. Red herring. A red herring is a piece of information that draws attention away from the real facts of a situation. This idiom comes from the fact that a herring is a type of strong-smelling fish. If you are hunting with the help of a dog and the dog smells a herring, it will be distracted by the strong smell and go in the wrong direction. Number eighteen. Ants in your pants. If you have ants in your pants, it means you can't stay still because you are very agitated, excited, or worried. Number nineteen, mad as a hornet. Someone who is mad as a hornet is extremely angry. Hornets are dangerous when they are angry because they can sting. Number twenty, wouldn't hurt a fly. If you say that someone wouldn't hurt a fly, you are describing the person as very peaceful and non-violent. It is a person who is so gentle that they wouldn't hurt anyone, even a small insect like a fly. For more English tips, visit www.espressoenglish.net. If you liked this video, please share.